Ladies and gentlemen, for the next 72 hours, we will be staying on the houseboat to do a swamp survival catch cook challenge. And turns out today is opening day of gator season. And we're on Lake Kissimmee in Florida, which is like literally known for alligators. Oh, I am. What? I'm hooked up to this. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hurry, hurry. Rocket launch tonight. That is right, beautiful people. The houseboat videos are back, and just like you requested, Brandon, we want you to stay out a little longer on the houseboat. And uh, I think you're absolutely right. Every time we've been on it, it's been a 24 hour little session and the houseboat is like to live on and we've just you know spent in a little day and it was kind of rushed so we read a bunch of comments you want to see us go out there spend some time out there and let me tell you we're about to go on one heck of a mission 72 hours in Kissimmee Florida there's a bunch of fish here catfish bluegill bass tilapia maybe even some frogs we're gonna be eating all those because well right behind me is the catch and cook cabin where we make the ultimate swamp beast. Of course, we couldn't forget the champ himself. We got Reef with us on this adventure. Reef, you ready for swamp? Looks like yes to me, buddy. And boy, oh boy, we got us some gear. We've got bluegill, catfish, and bass rods all here. We've got frog gigs that we bought over there. We've got a lifetime supply of gasoline. We've got chairs, we've got buckets, we've got everything. And we got a houseboat that is well, it's just slap full of all types of cooking ingredients. The funniest thing happened, we actually checked in to Camp Mac, get our parking passes and all that. And turns out, my brand new show on the Weather Channel was actually playing on TV. We're on TV, <laughs> we're getting our boat passes. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> we, got, we got Reef in the truck right over there. I don't know if you can see me, but then we've got TV right there, that's funny. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, got a quick update I want to share with you guys. If you remember the video we did where we rode in a giant offshore race boat, it was a lot of fun, thing was super fast. Well, it turns out we're actually going to be racing this Sunday in St. Pete, uh, and we want you guys to come out. So we're going to be racing at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. The event starts from 8 to 3.30. Award ceremony is at 6.30 p.m., and we're going to be racing in the 400 class, and we are boat number four. 50. The address will be on the screen. I'll have the F1 boat out there. We'll be meeting you guys, taking pictures and everything, but we do want you guys to come out. Again, it's this Sunday, which is September 3rd. I was going to let you guys know a lot earlier, but the hurricane was coming through Florida. We wasn't sure if the event was going to get canceled or not. Either way, it's on this Sunday, September 3rd. We want to see you guys out there. I'm going to be personally driving a giant offshore race boat. It's the first race of my career, and I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful faces there when we cross the checkered flag number one. I'm um, trying to find a spot for us to park. We got the houseboat behind us. Kind of got to go fast because it's supposed to be five foot deep here, but it's only two and a half, 2.9. And that boat does not like shallow water. I also just got a notification, lightning strikes 10 miles out and there's a big old storm. Found a spot called Catfish Creek right here. Catfish Creek? Catfish Creek, All right, we're gonna go to Catfish Creek. We've always wanted to catch big fish from the houseboat and catfish might do it, so. All right, Cor, we're gonna go ahead and go a mile north towards Catfish Creek. Catfish Creek right here, but it's straight towards the storm, so. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Gosh, I'm already, they already got into the chips. Oh God, I see it. They already got into the chips. They just held ruffles up in the window. I'm a survivor, keep going surviving. <laughs> <laughs> the most beauty survival challenge ever. I got ruffles, bro. <laughs> Right over there across the lake is completely covered in rain and then that is moving our direction. You can see it up under there, it's pretty bad. Oh gosh, yeah, it's getting after it. Oh man, it's closing in, it's gonna be close. We got the houseboat way back there. <laughs> we got the rain right over there, man, it's close. We got like 45 seconds before we get pounded. 
Alright, grab the nose. Yep, 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 I got it. Grief's gone. How did we manage that? <laughs> Boys, it's freaking raining, dude. Yeah. Look right there. It's coming, oh, buddy. It's a white wall headed right. Oh, there. boy. Okay. All right. It's the first day. We got a big old storm, baby. <laughs> Woo. Welcome home to the houseboat, brother. Goodness gracious. It barely feels safe in here. <laughs> right in time. Dude, the white wall of rain out there is bad. I mean, it's freaking black over there. Oh, we got a new addition. We got a fan here. <laughs> Let me turn the battery on. And we'll just do it with the trolling motor. This back cleat, I'm gonna open this up. Oh God, this is getting dangerous, Corey. Yeah. This is like one wave away from bad, bad stuff here. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, I am. What? I'm hooked up to this. Okay. Oh, what happened? What was that? Corey, what are you doing? What'd you lose? <laughs> Corey cannot keep a pair of glasses. Oh my gosh, boys. Chaos is already ensuing here. We gotta get this boat behind this one. Normally we make them like a T, but with this wind, it's gonna take one wave to come over this boat and swamp it. Thank you. Son. All right, we're good. Reefy, buddy. Your dad freaking just went through it. Yeah, if we were any deeper in Catfish Creek, it'd have been a problem. It'd have been a uh, cabin creek because our cabin would have been right on the bottom of the creek. You can see just by watching Reef, his hair's just blowing in the wind, man. That water's really kicking up, too. Well, I mean, there's not much to do when it's raining, so you just kind of got to <laughs> sit over here, wait it out. But uh, we do think that might make frog gigging tonight fire. So put a little damper on the day, but hopefully it cools it off for tonight. Hopefully we get some frog catch and cook action out of this thing. And when it gets done raining, we got to see if catfish hole really is the hole of catfish. Or is it called Catfish Creek? I think I keep messing up names. I think it's Catfish Creek. While we are uh, waiting out the rain, figured we'd toss on some uh, YouTube, so. We're gonna have a main room on the bottom there to shift it over and look like the entire thing. How's that? The good stuff? You have burrito. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, it's not gonna be that bad. No, no. First step. 32 ratchet straps, $10 a piece, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars in ratchet straps. But good news is after this boat build, I don't think they will ever need a set of ratchet straps again. We'll have ones that all get reported later on when we all lose it. <laughs> and none of this is an inch. A lot of it's $50 though. Boat. hopefully with some nice catfish fillets <laughs> so we are going to be going on a catfish mission uh, we don't know how long we're going to be out but the sun's going to be setting in the next like uh, hour and a half so we don't have too much time we're going to leave catfish creek because well there are apparently no catfish here only gators we're going to rip back south and go to the river that we came in on we found some deep pockets so we're going to try to catch catfish there we also got our headlamps and everything and we got our frog gigs. So 
maybe do a little frog gigging on the way in. I don't know, we haven't got to really search this place out and find where the lily pads and stuff like that are, so we're just gonna try our best and uh, hopefully get a nice fish or frog sandwich for the night. I don't think any of the boys are picky. Matter of fact, I think all of us are just happy to finally be out of the gosh dang houseboat, dude. <laughs> we were stuck in there for too long, so let's start, let's start ripping and get us catfishing. We should ride a Dr. Seuss boat. Oh, yeah, dude. Get you one of them goodens. Oh. The best part is we're trying to trying to catch fish to eat. Some people buy chicken livers and then just eat that. <laughs> you know? How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what to do. Set it. Yeah? Just yeah. go for it. Yeah. He's on there. Unless I'm no, that's him. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta be little though. He's gotta be little. We got our first nugget. Oh, Whoa, oh it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one, Corey. All right, just don't let Reese get him. Oh my God. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh no! What in the hell? What the hell, dude? Reese, get in here. What the hell? That's not go. what we wanted, dude. That is not what we wanted, bro. Oh, I thought we were catfishing. What the hell is this, dude? It's the most swamp thing ever. Oh man, no, oh no. That, that ain't it. That ain't it. Well, uh, my catfishing turned into freaking gar fishing somehow, but look at the teeth on those guys, man. So crazy. Got a wide mouth, but I thought we had a catfish, dude. And I saw the length, I was like, oh, we're gonna be eating good, boy. We got big old fillets, but of course, swamp food right here. Big old gar, we do not want this guy. He just freaking snakey back in there. <laughs> he just goes right back on the top. I just sent him right towards BJ's bait. So. <laughs> Dang it, dude. I cannot believe that. I literally was so excited. I was like, dude, I've got like the biggest catfish I've ever caught in my life. I don't I, I don't think I've ever caught a catfish on YouTube. Let me know if you guys would see me catch a catfish on here, but I really don't think I have. All right, well, I think we're going to leave uh, the gar hole and move on down river. There's a really nice bridge and hopefully it has some catfish. If not, then the pressure's on tonight to either bowfish tilapia or gig frogs, but I think all of us boys want a nice big catfish filet. You guys know I like to travel, explore, and sometimes go off the grid. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Onyx Off-Road. Onyx Off-Road. There's a bunch of Onyxes. This one's Onyx Off-Road. Onyx is my go-to tool for finding off-road trails and downloading offline maps when I have no cell service. With over 6,500 off-road trails, you're able to tap anywhere on the map to get an understanding of where you can legally off-road. You can build and share your trips with your buddies so no one gets lost. As you guys know, this is my Tundra right here behind me. I built this truck to go anywhere and get out of any situation possible, and it's done that for me for the past few years. However, we've added a brand new truck to our fleet. It's the 250, mostly so we could pull all the heavy boats that keep bankrupting me. But we're also gonna build it out like the Tundra as well. The good news about this truck is it has a feature called Apple CarPlay, which Onyx is also on, and it's really cool. You can just click that, and it plays so seamlessly in the truck, which is so cool. So I can actually see all the property lines in the satellite images, but I can make trails through all this stuff. And as an off-roader, it's giving me a lot of perspective on the area. So we're in Florida, we're surrounded by trees and shrubs and swamps, but on this, I can see where the openings and everything are which is really, really nice. So it's a cool feature that this truck has. This is the first time 250's getting after it off-road, by the way. And this is like a proper grade right here, son. Oh gosh. 
as we're driving, we pulled up onto this property line. So you guys can see if we zoom in here, we don't want to go over that property line. So it is helpful on knowing we do have permission on this land, but we don't have permission on that land. So as long as we're staying on the correct side of the red line, which is the actual satellite property line, then we're good. So that's what Onyx is helpful for too. You can mark a lot of things, but you can also stay out of trouble because when you're going off road, everything just kind of looks the same, but Onyx will keep you squared away in the area you have access to. Onyx lets you build off-road routes and folders that you can share with a group. When I'm using the Onyx off-road app on my phone, I can do a bunch of things like set routes. I can trace the actual routes that I've been so I can follow those to know how to get home. Even when I'm offline, I can download maps when we're off the grid like we are today. And most importantly, I can set locations to mark sand traps like the one I just got stuck in so I don't make that mistake next time. So if you guys want to try Onyx Off-Road for yourself, make sure you guys save 20% off by using my code JORDAN20. I also have a link in the description below for you guys. And if you're not ready to commit to a full membership, no worries. I suggest that you guys try this seven day free trial. Try it out, put it to use. And if you think it's for you, then make sure to use my code JORDAN20. With that being said, Onyx Off-Road, thank you for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for helping continue my adventures. Going back out to the dips. Is that a gator up ahead of us? Where's that? Straight up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. I got a bass. What the? I got a bass right here. <laughs> I got a decent bass, dude. What the heck, bro? We might have a bass fillet for dinner, huh? I'm not opposed. What? Okay, all right, boy. Okay, son. Just soaking me old Mondo worm, you know? <laughs> I pay the reef tax. If you guys are new to the channel, every time you catch a fish, reef has to lick it. I don't know, he's just born that way. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> we got a largemouth bass here, and what's gonna happen is it's a 72 hour catch and cook challenge, okay? So each day, we gotta get something to catch and cook. Do I wanna eat this bass? I honestly kind of do. We had some bass sliders before and they were freaking delicious. Technically, we're going after catfish or frogs or tilapia tonight, but we do have a live well. So I am going to put this bass on this live well. In the event that we don't get anything, I and the boys will share this bass for bass sliders. It's going to go in the live well for right now. Just hold tight in there and she'll be nice, happy, and healthy if we want to release her later. But we do have food secured. So the first 24 hours, we indeed have food from the swamp. She giveth and she shall taketh away. But I think it's good karma because we returned to Gar and we didn't try to eat Gar, thank God, and she gave us a bass. A huge one, but it's a good bite. Good last minute bite, dude. Good last minute bite. My God, this one's, she's a thick girl. Thick girl, Reef. Get him taxes, son. Well, I know we can't really see it, but we got another one. <laughs> All right, so we got one guy in there already. We'll introduce the second one. Again, the fate of these guys depends on what we got tonight, but we got some fishing alive well, Reefy. A lot of you guys ask about Reef and where he goes to the bathroom. Well, since he was a baby, about his first three days i had him i had him on boats and i guess just over time he's just learned not to go to the bathroom on boats and we just have a mutual pack that when we're out on the houseboat <laughs> it is uh two or three times a day i'll go to the boat rent for him and that's when uh he lets you rip <laughs> a lot of you guys asked in the comment section but yeah, he just holds it and then sometimes when he comes up to me he'll just give me a look and i'll just know you gotta go so we'll rip on out of there I actually found something pretty cool. These are all the species that we could run across out here. And that we might try to bowfish tonight, but there's a bunch of catfish on here, mudfish. Those are fun to catch, but 
never eaten one before. And well, we're not gonna catch peacock bass here, but everything else. So we've got a gar off the list and we've got a bass and any of these other species are gonna be fair game. made it to the house boat <laughs> everybody's covered in mayflies boy it's freaking bad it doesn't look like the boat's too terrible though which is good how was their ride oh yeah one and two just hanging out they're just we got bluegill bait for days and that was just on a ride over <laughs> all right welcome home boys we made it life is good and uh we need to start setting up a catch and cook station oh my god Oh no. Oh no, look, look, look. It has begun. Brother, it has begun. It has begun. Oh no. I will say, those are pretty big. And we have the ultimate solution. We've got this guy right here. So, oh, I got a mayfly on my arm right there. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> we could turn this on, they'll all get sucked in. But I think we put our bug zapper outside. <laughs> no, no. Oh no. DJ's out there. <laughs> We we're looking for some equipment, but oh, it's really just this side, dude. That's the stuff that's gonna come in. Hope you take a look under the table right there. Uh, left, right. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my, oh my God. All right, well, that happened. <laughs> well, it's begun, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, I, think, uh, I think it's time to turn this on. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> That's what all the bugs are thinking. I feel like it's still gonna zap me. Yeah. If I stick my finger in. This one's not even electric. This one's just a light, and then it gets sucked into a fan. There's a fan in there. It just pulls them in. Turns out there's a rocket launch tonight. What? Dude, that's, that's insane. That's so awesome. What? Woo! What a view! Wow, bro. Reef, come look at the rocket. Come on. Come look. It's a rocket. Dude, that is insane. What a night. Wow, dude. What a night. That was awesome. Oh, it's up there. Dude. That is insane. That is actually insane. They wanted something besides just fish, so we're making some crab rangoon tacos made with stir fry rice. We got the fillet table set up. Now it's time for some good old bass It ain't the best, but I mean, they're good to me. Time for the chicken nuggets. So we've got our bassetizer chunks. We got BJ on the inside whipping up his crab rangoon wonton something. It honestly sounds delicious. You showed me a picture of it, it looks good. But once he finishes up in there, it's night one, so you know the drill. We're gonna do Frank's Red Hot Uncle Bucks with Hawaiian roll sliders, tartar sauce. It's gonna be delicious. You got a big fan down there. Oh, he's waiting <laughs> for me to drop some. Yeah, he's like, dude, drop one of them freaking crab rangoons, man. First things first. Frank's Red Hot, you take the old Red Hots, you drop them in the Uncle Bucks. You take these guys, you put some air in the bag, jiggle around, then they're freshly coated, then you drop them into the hot oil. A nicely crusted nugget right there. Just drop that on top, drop them in there, let them sit, let them do their thing. Got our Hawaiian Rolls boys said they wanted the old tartar sauce. There you go, freshly packaged, freshly sealed facetizer that we can use for the next 48 hours that's left on the challenge. And just like that, you've got facetizers. Sheesh. Hey, thank you for catching dinner. Hey, hey we're cooking dinner. That is. You like it? It hits the spot every time, man. It's all I got. 
it's I'm a I'm a one trick pony kind of guy. Cheers to you at home. Really easy to make this yourself. I hear some exploding. That's the sound. Yeah, to us. Oh, that's from the the rocket boosters landing. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, buddy. These are gonna be good. Yeah, natter, dude. These are gonna be good. Look at these ingredients, boy. As long as I can cook them and they still look like a a taco, <laughs> I'll be happy. <laughs> Nuggets, Ooh. we'll add the sauce later. Stir fried rice. This here. Did you just make all this stuff? Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. it's good. It's good. We're just gonna do this. Put you some you got the little nuggets. nugs in there. Got okay. Little nugs. We're going a little rice action here. Look at my poor dog, dude. He wants some <laughs> so bad, bro. He's been my dog has been in here with BJ the entire time. He's just like smelling all the smells. He's waiting for me to drop some. And by the way, the mayflies are so big, they don't even fit through the screen, which is awesome. Okay. And then there you go. And then That's I the got deal. the sweet chili sauce over here. You take right here. This is the finishing move right here. Put you some green. Now it looks oh, fancy. Oh, boy. All of that made on a houseboat. There you go, In the go, middle of a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like literally uh, seven foot below us could be a giant alligator right now. Just a nice little bit, you know? Bro, how insane. DJ, this you, is absurd, you, you bro. Came out good. Yeah, dude, thank Came you so good. much, bro. Oh my gosh, this looks like something I get at a restaurant. Our appetizer piece that we had was amazing. This with the sauce added to it. Way better. <laughs> Way level. better, dude. Oh appetizer has nothing on this right here, man. <laughs> that was ridiculous, bro. The crunch. It's a crunch, man. I just want to point this out. BJ made chicken tendies, okay? Yeah, actually, how do you guys feel about a catch and cook meetup where we, I don't even know if we gotta go catch it and cook it, but maybe we just have like a big meetup somewhere, I don't know, on like a sandbar or something that you guys can get access to without boats and we just serve food out the houseboat. So we talked about it a little bit, but if you guys want that, let us know in the comment section. I think it could be cool. You're not getting these though. <laughs> BJ worked like an hour on these. <laughs> Normally she runs out around seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's always the worst, man. It's always the worst. What's that, mayflies? Yeah. Oh, they're that thick across the whole floor. That's bad, dude. That's insane. Look at BJ. BJ's just back there. <laughs> I can't see him. Too many mayflies on the door. I'm on my third one. I'm not proud of it, but it's too freaking delicious, <laughs> dude. I'm not proud of it, dude. I honestly don't even gotta eat for the next three days, bro. This is all I needed right here. <laughs> It's 1.40 a.m. All the boys are passed out. Reefy. <laughs> Reefy's tired. <clears throat> so, I think that is going to wrap it up for this first 24 hours. Remember, we have 48-hour video coming out, and we have this 72-hour video. Um, tomorrow morning should be good. We might be going after bluegill and frog legs. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was fun. This honestly has all been fun and it's only gonna get better day after day. So uh, I love you all and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. All right, go.